Hi everyone, my name is Aman Yao and I'm the Executive Director of the Association of Foundations and on behalf of the AF Network, our trustees, our member NGOs and foundations, I wish to greet the uh, Selective Foundation and happy 20th anniversary. Congratulations for this, uh, this milestone. I started out in the AF in 1999, and uh, when Melissa became AF president, it was at the time that she conceptualized uh, uh, having this kind of a mechanism of a, of a resource organization to be able to sustain development uh, work. And so when she was AF president and uh, put NGO chair, uh, she worked with. Uh, and uh, when EF was born in, uh, in 2001, and happy to be part of that team uh, that really helped uh, set it up. In those earlier years of the Peace and Equity Foundation, uh, one, of the, one of the experiences that I, I could not uh, forget are you know, when we would celebrate uh, Social Development Week, uh, EF with the uh, Good NGO. Was the organizing uh, team, and um, we would have three fair exhibits in, uh, in various malls um, at the community center, um, SM Mega Trade, uh, Trinoma, and, um, and, and those were very you know, worthwhile experiences um, where we would be able to bring to Metro Manila that our community partners where they can market and sell their native and indigenous products um, and even you know, um, be able to form linkages um, with uh, individuals, uh, with private sector groups uh, to be able to, you know, to have their products uh, more commercially known. The other, you know, the other thing that I remember um, would be the coming together of um, for local funding institutions, the EPEF, uh, FPE, FSSI, and the PTFCF, uh, or Forest Foundation Philippines, as they would like to brand themselves now. And, uh, and in these more recent years, these are all uh, headed by, by a gentleman, Bobby for PEF, Dodo for uh, FSSI, Oli for FPE, and uh, for PTFCF, and um, we would kid ourselves uh, by saying that this is now the Fantastic Four, uh, and, uh, and try to, to make it a little bit more, uh, um, more you know, appropriate in the in the cake of times, and said that this is F4. If um, if they wanted me to be part of it, they would, they would call themselves the Botes Five. So, um, but but I think. Um, uh, coming together of, um, of F4 uh, is something that should continue. Um, something that I think, uh, given given this for local fund institutions, and, and they try to to bring in their respective uh, knowledge, expertise, um, as well as their mandates and trusts, uh, to be able to leverage each other and um, for for the benefit of um, of the communities that, that uh, all of us serve, um, all these organizations would like to serve. And I'm hoping that there could be more uh, beyond Rojas Palawan in terms of peace resisting and, uh, and the collaboration and the partnership of these four organizations on top of F4. Um, one of the things that, uh, that I think we have learned um, through the years in, in our partnership with the Peace and Equity Foundation is that um, EF would, you know, um, would always be looking for not just for outputs, uh, but really for, for outcomes and even, if possible, impact. Um, and, and as we partner through the years, uh, this is something that, uh, that the Association of Foundations and the AF Secretariat have uh, also tried to, to develop um, as, as, we, as we continue to um, write our proposals and, uh, and then be able to, to work with the AF. Um, 
and and one of the things that that, that I think is is really important is that how the question always would be in terms of what the indicators of indicators of success would be. Uh, how do we measure uh, our success? Uh, what are our results? And, uh, and and these are things that are ingrained in um, in, uh, in how we have developed our ourselves and, and how we have implemented our various projects and uh, activities with them. Um, I, I guess in the in the more recent years, um, um, AF came up with the Lead to Serve program, uh, leadership development program. Uh, Lead to Serve uh, stands for leaders empowered and dedicated to serve to the NGO sector, um, and we're very happy that the AF um, was able to to, to support uh, a study that we did, and, and even um, being able to pilot the first batch. Um, and we're now on our, we're, we just recently concluded our second batch as well um, with, uh, with support coming from Forest Foundation Philippines. Um, and we do think that um, in the coming years, this is something that, um, that hopefully we can continue to partner. In as much as I remember, um, well, Ramon Magsesay Award and, and a PEF partner, a PEF trustee actually, Kadode um, um, Balyon. When he presented in one of the PEF uh, General Assemblies uh, about his, uh, their, their achievements um, in their organization, I remember him um, telling the GA that uh, you know, uh, factors that actually that he thought uh, was important and crucial uh, in being able to, to have these kinds of results, these kinds of, uh, of, uh, of outcomes impact in the community is, is all about leadership and governance and I'm really hoping that uh, PEF will, will continue to support um, um, this uh, able to support leadership and, and governance yeah, in, in the coming years especially in the development sector which which brings me now to uh, I guess you know, not just leadership development in the current um, leaders of development work but but really also engaging I younger generation um, more so in terms of I guess the you know the, the, the mid twenties to the the late thirties uh, age range um, maybe you know um, trying to engage them into into strategic conversations uh, and, and and maybe hopefully you know as, as we do that um, they they would be encouraged um, to to be successful generation leaders of um, the development sector in the, in the future. Um, I guess fi finally, um, the, the other thing that I think is important to look at, um, and, and as AF is also undergoing its own strategic plan, we were also um, uh, trying to find out what, what, in what, in what, part, in what part of the um, of the work that we should be improving on, and, and I think it will have to do with communications and. Uh, and really trying to increase the, the trust of the public sector, general public in the, in the NGO sector. Um, and then maybe that is something again that uh, the PEF might want to look into uh, and, uh, and hopefully be able to, to partner with, uh, with AF and, and a few other organizations like Code NGO and even with PCNC in increasing the public trust for, uh, for the development sector. I, I guess finally, the where we certainly will miss Marisa in this uh, in this celebration, and uh, but I'm sure you know uh, she's really looking down on all of us with a huge smile and, and happy with what the uh, EF has gone through and journeyed through the past 20 years. Uh, I certainly hope as well that as we remember her, uh, that we also uh, do not forget why uh, she started out and uh, fought for peace. Maraming salamat po. Congratulations again.